Hello there. This is the family doctor. cup of coffee? Um, well, yes, I suppose so, Grant, but I wish you'd hurry. Hurry? Why? Because Mrs. Webb is coming this morning. Is she? Well, what's remarkable about that? She comes every Monday morning, doesn't she? Now, Grant, you know I always clean house this time every year. Clean house? Oh, I see. House cleaning time again, eh, honey? Well, that's fine. <laughs> what's so fine about it, I'd like to know. It's a fright and a torment, if you ask me. Twice a year. Oh, well, it won't take you long. You always keep the house in such good order all the time. Won't take long. <laughs> That's the usual opinion of a man. And it's what you say twice a year, every time I tell you I'm going to clean house. You have no idea how long it takes, nor how much work it is. Well, why? Why, why is it so much work? Well, for one thing, do you know how many copies of the National Medical Journal there are up in the attic? No. How many are there? Well, thank goodness, I haven't counted them, but I just wish you'd go up sometime and look at the stacks and stacks of them that are lying around there doing nothing but just catching dust. I wish you'd look at them. All right, honey, I will sometime. Say, you're not thinking of throwing those journals away, are you, Lou? Well, why not? You never use them. Oh, now, Lou, don't do that, please. I may want some of those someday. I can never tell when something will come up where I'll have to refer to some copy of the journal. Why? Why, those things are priceless. I've been collecting them ever since I, I, I was an intern. All right, Grant, I won't throw them away. I'll let them stay there another 20 years, gathering dust and spiders and moths. And then there are those old post-bugles. Post-bugles? Oh, say, now, you... You aren't going to throw those away, are oh, you? Oh, now, Grant, you don't want those old papers. Yes, I do, honey. Sure, I want them. Please don't throw them away. Well, what in the world do you want with them? Lou, no, those old post bugles tell the story of our little city here. All the hopes, and sorrows, and triumphs of Cedarton are told in those newspapers. All the marriages, the births, the deaths. Grant. The... Yes? Doesn't Editor Day have a complete file of post bugles down at his office? Well, I guess he does. Why? Well, if you want to go back and read something that happened in Cedarton a long time ago, can't you do it at the Post Bugle office? Hmm. Well, I guess I could. And how many times in the past 20 years have you looked at those papers up in our attic? Well, I don't know. I don't exactly remember... Ever looking at them. Now, isn't that so, Grant? <laughs> I guess maybe you're right, honey. As you always are. But I, I would like to keep them just... Just for old times' sake. Oh, all right, Grant. I won't throw those out either. I'll uh, tell you one load of stuff you can throw out, though. What's that? It's that big green box over in the corner near the round top trunk. The... You mean the... Why... Yeah, that box takes up a lot of room. It's just collecting dust and spiders and moths. Why, Grant... Well, after all, it just has a lot of Grant Jr.'s old toys and clothes in it. Grant you? Adams... Do you mean to say that you'd have me throw away those toys that our boy used to play with? Those little shoes and sweaters and things he used to wear? 
<laughs> I got you there, honey. <laughs> oh, Grant, you won't tease you. Uh, I thought for a minute you were serious. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'll go up and get to work. <laughs> yes, I wish... What? Go up and get to work? What do you mean? Well, I'm going to work here this morning, Lou. Uh, I'll go up in my study. Oh, now, Grant, you can't do that. Mrs. Webb and I are going to be awfully busy. Oh, I won't be in your way. I've got to work on my taxes today. I won't have time later. But, Grant, this is the only day I can get Mrs. Webb. Now, I won't be in your way. I promise. Oh, but a man... Oh, now, don't worry, honey. I'll, I'll only be here this morning. Oh, all right. I know that when you set your mind on a thing, you'll never be satisfied until you have it that way. Oh, it isn't that. It's just that I've got to get these tax forms finished. I know, Grant, I know. Only mark my words. A house is no place for a man during house cleaning time. Taxes paid during fiscal year to another state or foreign country. See Schedule H. Schedule H. Schedule H. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Uh, Grant. Schedule H. Grant. Uh, oh, oh yes, Lou. We've got to come in here now. Oh, do you? Well, all right. I'll I'll go down to the parlor. I understand. All right. Uh, <laughs> When you're house cleaning, you have to make every minute count. Oh, there, I guess I've got all the papers. All right, Lou, go right ahead. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Webb. Good morning, Dr. Adams. So, you're kicking the old doctor out of his study, huh? Well, I, I reckon we can't help it, Doctor. Oh, that's perfectly all right, Mrs. Webb. You go, you go ahead. Nothing like a clean house, eh? <laughs> well, mere man gives way to the ladies and retires to the parlor. Paid. Item 18 plus item 19 plus item 20 minus item 17. Yeah. According to Schedule K. Schedule K. Schedule K. Expenses may include all expenditures necessary in pursuant to the operation of a private business. But if... Oh, oh you, uh... You're coming in here now, Mrs. Webb, huh? Yes, he's doing right well at the store, isn't he? <laughs> no, I, I said, are you going to start cleaning in here now? Oh, I guess I didn't hear you. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Adams says is how we got to do all the vacuuming and all at once, and, and then the dusting, and, and then the waxing, and, yes, and then the dishes. Uh, yeah, well, well, all right, then. I'll go into the dining room. Yeah, I've been there. I'm awful sorry to have to bother you this way, Dr. Adams. Oh, it's all right, Mrs. Webb. It's perfectly all right. When you're house cleaning, you have to do it systematically. Um, uh, what'd you say, Dr. Adams? I just, I just said I guess you have to have some sort of system. Oh, <laughs> yes, I guess so. I'm sure it's a lot of you, Dr. Adams. Thank you, Dr. I say... Oh, I, I say, Dunk certainly thinks a lot of you, Dr. Adams. Oh, thank you. Yes, well, I guess I've gathered up all my papers again. I, I'm, I'll be in the dining room if Mrs. Adams wants me for anything. All right, Dr. Adams. <sighs> now, let me see. Schedule K. All right. Hmm, that's, that's all right. Now... Expenses paid. Office rents three hundred sixty dollars. Instruments one hundred and fifty dollars. Stationery and paper. Office supplies, I guess you'd call it, one hundred and twenty-seven seventy-five. Depreciation on, on uh, seven minutes four fourteen. Depreciation on one hundred dollars. Operation of automobile three hundred seventy-five dollars sixty-nine cents. 
Hmm, well, I guess that's all right. No, you want me to the... these uh, chairs? And four is 14, four one to carry. Six, seven is 13, one is 14, four one is 10, seven is 14, and uh, one to carry is 15, six. Hello. Yes, Grant? It's absolutely necessary for you ladies to be whispering like that, is it? Well, we have to start polishing the silver and scouring all the good china. Oh, yes, of course, yes. Well, do you think you'll be coming into the spare room right away? Yes, Grant, we're going to start there next. Oh, I see. Why don't you go out in the backyard? Backyard? Yes, it's nice and warm outside today. You can sit in the hammock and do all your work. Well, all right, Lou, I'll, I'll try it. Are you, uh, are you ladies making any headway? Oh, yes, Grant. We're getting along just fine. Well, that's good. I'm glad somebody is. <laughs> $3,089.50. Minus item 21, $1,095.44. 4-10 four, to 6, 4 to 4 is not. 5, 9, 4, 9 from 8. I mean, eight, 18 is 9. Not. Not. Not 9, 3 from. <coughs> 3 from. Odd is 2. 1 from 2. <coughs> Those are 9. The 4. The, 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 Mrs. Webb! Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Adams. I just bet the dust from me beating this carpet made you cough. <laughs> Even if I were a <coughs> betting man, I'd take that bet. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Webb, that dust has made me cough, but <coughs> never mind, never mind. I can go elsewhere. <coughs> oh, are you leaving, Grant? Yes, my dear, I'm leaving. I'm going down to the office and work this tax out there. <coughs> and you were right, honey. You were right. What do you mean? A house is no place for a man during house cleaning time. This is the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. Mm-hmm.